minutes. The exercise board means more and more going to cancel the okay. form. And then on Wednesday of next week, we'll have the exercise board at 9 and then that text protest at 9 30. Right. I'll remind you next week. Yeah, I should say. I'll remind you next week. I should show up tomorrow and then It'll be the first time I'd be. <laughs> that one's hard for me. Joe's, Joe's out of town and says Kyle's. Will not be in until next week. Did you hear that? Your appropriations will not be in until next week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get command. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those are last year's. Well, you're probably getting a little bit over yeah. back here. <clears throat> Sounds so odd in the first vlog I said last year. I know. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, sorry.
second that. All in favor? Aye. Like to purchase orders? Have uh, um, blankets from Assessor District 1, 2, and 3.
We've got more drinkers than hell in it now. I'm just going to put all this no action. We'll just leave um, yes. for the 14 days. Or, days. There you go, remaining. Thank you. It don't make any difference whether I say I or not. <laughs> well. They outvoted me. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's fine. Either way. Well, no, but it's, it's just one of them deals. Like you said. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So. But if it turns off dry again, that three inches ain't going to last for okay. Yes. On the ARPA funds, um, I had forgotten about it, Valor had forgotten about it. We moved that into an interest-bearing account. I didn't think of the account number changing with the interest-bearing account, so the deposit, the second deposit was rejected. If we would deposit that in the ACB, I think they would have called us, but it went in the gateway, which was over a jinx, and they just rejected it. So I emailed and emailed and emailed and emailed and emailed for about four days. Finally got back onto the portal, I found a phone number, got a hold of the nicest woman in the world, and she said, they haven't responded to your email? I said, no, they haven't. She said, they're supposed to respond within 24 hours, and I went, they haven't. But she gave me a case number, they responded within the 24 hours, then um, I got my um, 
thing this morning that the account has been confirmed. What was it called? Uh, it's in the payment. Oh, goodness, I'm going to break it. Okay. No, no, I'll be gay. <laughs> It's in the payment process now. I don't know whether we'll have to wait the 30 days. I would assume we have to wait the 30 so how days. How much is that? Uh, same as the other ones. Uh, Five, 571 yeah. something. No, it was exactly half. Exactly half. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we're in the process now. Don't need no motion on that. No, I just want to give you, uh, Mike wanted to just give everybody an update on that. Yeah, everybody will be on the same board. Yeah. And I said, I, I apologize. I never even thought about the account number changing. I just, I thought that they went in there and just changed the bank code thought, in there to interest. I would interest. have thought when something like that came to the bank, they would have said, hey, what do you want to do? With well, this? and like I said, I think if it would have came here, yeah, they would have. Come locally. It went to it went to We need to have local bank service. Yeah. Especially on something like that. Yeah. yeah. And I would still thought that Jinx would have seen the Alpha Alpha County huge amount, but obviously. Probably just, your local bank if you had it would have yeah. never would have never changed the number. <laughs> yeah. You had to add the interest bearing to that account. Yeah. Uh, the sheriff's evidence and county gym room, the AC unit has went out. There's two units in it. I don't know how many people actually still utilize that gym. Uh, as hot as it's been, I've had no one call, no one complain really? about it. So obviously it's either not unbearable in there or there's probably just maybe nobody utilizing it. Um, I had uh, Thomas come out and look at it. He checked the old one. He said it was smoked. He said uh, cheaper than rebuilding that one aftermarket parts and everything. It was cheaper just put an entire unit in, which is $1,800 through them. For that unit um, there's two of them there side to side we can either just wait and see if, if nobody's complaining about it nobody's probably used it it's a heat side it's a heat and heat in there yes it, it's the fan and everything oh, okay. it's smoked the whole unit smoked um, we could either wait and, and work that one what i think is if you keep that one in there and you actually are using it you're going to work it to death what about during the winter? Is there stuff in there that can't? There's nothing to freeze. There's no water. Um, we can, we can wait until the other one dies and then replace them both at the same time. Or uh, I'd say it's not a priority. I, it's not a priority. Now, if somebody was utilizing it and calling all the time, I think we would have to change it. But uh, I, I say we take no action this no, time. I would, I would second that motion. Okay. All in favor, aye. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm um, making a big deal of it. I just. That's what you wanted on there. I wanted to put it on there. I did want it on there, but I just wanted everybody to realize exactly where we're at. I don't want anybody to so say, I didn't know anything about it or. I have mixed feelings on the whole deal. You can replace it, fix it, but then you've got two oddball units. Oh, we just heat cooling and heat the building for nothing. That's I, at first, there was a lot of people that used that building. A lot of people that weren't supposed to. A lot of people that wasn't supposed to. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to. Yeah. So it but almost now, became a problem. I, I used it about, I think, three months ago. It was a little warm in there, but I mean, I didn't expect it to be. Yeah. Over the Call and complain on the change. Now I just, I, if it's nice outside, I just go outside. But it was right when the, it was in between nice days and also there was a hot day, and I walk just go over there and I'll walk on the track and on. I, I just honestly, usually, if it's hot or something, somebody will, somebody complain, will say something. And I've had no calls on it. So, um, I talked to Mr. Jackson, and he said. He would be willing to do anything we want to do if we want to wait till October and pile it up. He said, just give him a date, tell him what day he wants done, or you know, a week or whatever, and, and he could get right in there and do it. He said, uh, waiting was no problem with him. Um, us hauling it off was no issue. 
he was he's been great to work with him. He's willing to do anything we want to do, be on our side. Um, if it works for you too, I think October would be a good month for us before it gets too late, we get it to be cooler. Um, I would put my excavator up there and one out there at the hole. And if you two would just provide the trucks and drivers for me, here, do a little end dumps. And uh, we can do this all together. We can save a tremendous amount to hauling. About 70,000. About 70,000, 70 or 75 for that hauling. Which level bit it cheaper for hauling, but they were 20,000 higher on demo. So and Jackson was what, 29,000, I believe, yeah. on demo. So I personally would like to make a motion to uh, award it to Jackson's. And then I'll get with him and we'll make an arrangement for second or third week of October. Uh, exactly. What account do you want at um, I think we want to pull it out of the ARPA fund. Right? Is that good with you guys? Or do you want to use county dinner or something? But ARPA. Put it on ARPA funds. I know we don't. Put it on ARPA funds. Next week we'll have to run another resolution. Thank That's you for that. So, um, and we'll ask for that to actually be put on until next week. Well, that gives us yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Oh, yeah, so there's still plenty yeah. of time. That's, that's where I see to pull that because I don't know of any excess money just laying around. This, this is one of them deals that we just inherited. And the liability. So we're, we're not taking action on the bid yet. All at all. No, we're going to just uh, award the demolition. So you're going to reject? The bids on hauling it off. Yes. Any motion on that? Bill? I'll make a motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Interlocal agreement between Alpha County and Grant. I move we take no action. They didn't get it on their agenda. He's going to try to sneak it in on a new business today, but we'll have to do it now. Uh, okay, declaration surplus uh, and disposal. Can we do them both as all one? Okay, surplus and disposal of equipment is my list of graders for District 2. Oh, there. Whole bunch of numbers. Whole bunch of numbers. And she's already signed. Yeah, yeah, she signed off on it. And I don't know if you guys noticed on the um, on the minutes. I just put that on the minutes. We didn't have to do the. Yeah. Um, put it on the minutes here that all of the items were approved by the ADA. Um, and I'll do the same thing on these then. Mm -hmm.
Is this on the next one? Oh, yeah, I got one. I got one. That's a quote on Rick's. Quote on Rick's deal.